Hello my friends, so today's the day. Stable Diffusion 3 Medium is out and I can't wait to get my hands on it. So what you need to do is you need to go to this Hugging Face URL and here you need to log in or sign up and after that you need to fill out a license agreement. After you've done that you can go to Files and Versions and you download this file here, SD3 Medium. So also what we're going to download is the ConfUI example workflows, these three files. And we are going to download the text encoders, clip G, clip L, and the T5XXL. If you have enough VRAM, you can use this file, but it won't make a big difference. At the moment, Stable Diffusion 3 only runs on ConfUI or in Stable Swarm UI. So, but since Stable Swarm UI integrates ConfUI, we will just use Stable Swarm UI. To install Stable Swarm, all you have to do is go to the page and scroll, scroll, scroll. Click the install windows batch file. This will download a small batch file. Create a new folder on your hard drive. Copy the batch file and execute it. So here you have to say more info and run anyways. This could also take a while. After a while you should see something like this. So first the legal notice then we have to choose an install path. For now I go with the base installation. And here you have to confirm again, yes, I'm sure install now. Now where to put our files? In our stable swarm UI folder, go to models, stable diffusion. Here in this folder, put your stable diffusion three medium model. Now we have to put our text encoders for that. We go one level up into Stable Swarm UI models and we put it here under Clip. Don't mix it up with Clip Vision. This is what I did when I first tried it out and yeah, it didn't work of course. It has to go in here, all the three files. After the installation of Stable Swarm, you are greeted with this window. Okay, that's a little bit big. So down here you can select your model we choose SD3 medium, of course. You can also select it from here, models, and then click it. By the way, if you can't see your sampling steps, just drag the smaller and bigger, and you should be able to see the number here. So let's go with 30 for beginners. Let's try this prompt here. Ominous expressionistic style image on Mars. A Martian holding a sign saying, is this the real life? Is this just Stable Diffusion 3? So this looks more like a robot, but is this the real life? Is this just diffusion? Yeah, okay, okay. There's some typos and some text is missing, but this is pretty amazing. Um, so much text in that little space. I like it. So what's really amazing is in Swarm UI, you can use Comfy UI. So you just click on Comfy workflow and you will be greeted with this here. Now's the time to use the three workflows you downloaded earlier, hopefully. You can just drag and drop them in here and we get this cool workflow. So let's go about it. First, we have this checkpoint loader. Um, if you've done everything correct, you should be able to click here and select the SD3 medium save tensors file. And if you click here, you should be able to select these files. So the first one is clip G, the second clip L, and the third is uh, T5XXL FP8. If it says undefined, then you did it wrong. So down here we found our normal seed and we found an empty SD3 latent image. This is the same as usual, they just renamed it. So here we have our positive and our negative prompt. Female character with long flowing hair, appears automated of ethereal thrilling patterns, blah, 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 and some negative prompts. So what's new to this workflow is this part here. So 
I looked through the documentation on Hugging Face and I also looked through the documentation on Stability AI's homepage, but unfortunately there is nothing said about this. So maybe I will find it out someday and I will share this knowledge with you, but so far I can't tell you why we need it. By the way, if you don't know how ComfyUI works, I suggest you watch this video, but don't forget to come back later. So here we have our case sampler. Apparently 28 steps is the suggested best result with a CFG of 4.5. So 4.5 to 6 should be best from what I read. And yeah, so let's leave it as is and let's render it. One cool thing about ComfyUI is you can always follow where the workflow is at the moment. So at the moment it's um, encoding the clip, the positive prompt. And it also it can take a while when you render for the first time. So now we are at the case sampler and we can even watch the preview. This is our image result, not bad for our first image. So, but if you want to save the image, make a double click somewhere in a free space and type save, save image and drag the point from the VAED code to the image. So this is going to save your generations automatically to your hard drive. So you maybe want to configure your naming conventions. There are advanced nodes that can help you with that, but for now this should do it. Other way to do it is to right click and save image, but that gets tedious if you do a lot of renders. Another amazing workflow to talk about is the multi-prompt workflow. So again, we have our prompts given by Stability AI, by the workflows I uploaded. And we have here a background prompt and we have a foreground prompt. We have the back, same background prompt twice. So, but let's see the images that gives us. So I increase the batch size to four. And what I realized what's missing here is it has this preview image, but you maybe want to save your image. So I do a double click and type save, save image, and I drag the VAE decode node up here. So I mean, this file prefix will be ComfyUI, but yeah, I don't care at the moment. So just for rendering purposes and rendering tests. Oh, prompt output failed. Checkpoint loader simple. Yeah, we forgot to change our model. So we need to set it to SD3 medium. So these are our result images. So they look great. They look quite different from time to time, from image to image. I really like this one down here. Yeah, I guess we will have to experiment, but you can see with the multi-prompt, it, it seems like you can influence the background like more of a kind of layered rendering, a second exposure kind of rendering. So it's, it's really great. So yeah, a lot of things to try out with this new stable diffusion version. The first community feedback isn't that great. They're claiming there's a lot of problems with the anatomy of certain things. But to be honest, I keep optimistic. I would say we would just wait for the first community models. So, and while you wait, I suggest you watch this video next.